In lesson 10, we looked at a very, very simple um, painting program, which I said we're going to develop over the next few lessons. Um, this lesson will not actually look at the paint program, but it is part of the continuing progress that we're trying to make. So we're looking at the Kiwi slider widget, which we will then use within the next um, lesson in the paint program to change the thickness of the pen. Um, in this app and all future apps to do with the simple paint program, we're going to be using a .kv file. And this one is going to be based around the slider widget and we're going to produce what I've got here. But I've got a slider and it's, in this case it's connected to a label and um, what it does it changes the value of the label and I've also got it so it changes the size of the font that's used as well. Um, so that's what we're going to produce where we've got a label above and then we've got our slider below. Okay, so let's get to creating that. The first thing I want a class, and um, I like to call a lot of my widgets just the controller one. I can't remember where I got that from. I copied it from somewhere else. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to call the constructor for the box um, for the box layouts, and I'm going to call the super one there. So we've got controller. It's me self dot Linux. Okay, so um, we are actually going to put a, a slot for dealing with the movement of the slider, but I'll actually do that afterwards. We'll do this bit first. Um, so, what the class this is going to be our app class, and remember the app class is the class that interacts with the um, the event loop that listens out for um, for us doing mouse clicks or in our case moving the slider so all it's going to do is return an instance of controller and going on a little bit further than that I now want to have a, a window and that's going to bring up um, be an instance of my slider app and then I want to run that app. Okay, so let's go into the, the widget itself. Let's um, produce that. So the root widget is controller. And obviously we've just got that from the name here. And um, then I want to, I'm going to have a label um, in there. So, oops, no spaces. I had problems with that before. I'll we'll call it my label. It's what we, we actually used this name in a previous tutorial. And then I want, within control, I want it to have a box layout, which we pretty much said over here anyway. And that box layout, so I want it to have an orientation of vertical. And then the first thing above, the one at the top was a label. And that label, because we want to reference it later on within the root widget. Remember here, we're saying, I've got this thing called LBL, labeled. It, it doesn't know what it is. Um, but it's in the it's it can be accessed from the root um, part of the widget in, the, in our case controller. So I'm saying, okay, I've got this label. Can you give it the ID my label? And here it think, now this knows. Oh, okay, my label refers to this label here. And let's give it some text to start off with. Um, I don't know move the slider um, okay so now we're going to have a slider and I'm going to set a minimum value of 1 a maximum value of 30 you can play around with yourself and now how do I deal with what happened. I want to say on value. 
Okay, that's when we get to the slider on value. Then could you go to the root um, directory and look for a function which I've called um, my thickness. It actually doesn't make sense to say my thickness, but I'm actually thinking about what we're going to do in the next app where we use this same idea to change the thickness of a line. And could you take it along args? Now, this actually sends two values. It says sends the value of the slider and the name of the slider. Um, and it does the value of the slider first, the name second. So um, that's that bit done. I don't know if it will run the way it is at the moment. Um, I mean, it certainly won't do. It certainly won't work. So I need to go into this bit here. Um, but let's just have a look. See what happens. Slider. Yeah, we've got a slider, but obviously I just tried to move in it. And said, well, where is this? Um, you know, where's this new thickness one going on, I'm guessing? Yeah, there it is there. Okay, so let's go into here. We said we're gonna do it from the root widget, which is controller. So within controller, we need to set, we need to set up a function called new thickness, which is our slot for the signal that is sent. So new thickness, Obviously it takes a version of cells, but it's also going to take these um, args that are sent. And the, the star operator there just splits it up into individual values there. So, um, so new thickness args, not sure what we've got going on. New thickness, maybe static, right. So new thickness args, so we want to say self. Um, dot label and although we haven't defined label here we have defined it here so it knows um, what we're talking about dot text and we're going to say that equals the string version of now label might be able to take an actual but I've not actually tried um, but int because I want the whole number values of args one args one's the value that's sent and typically it's a floating value here and I just want whole number values now that will actually work now and um, we're going to make it do a bit more so move the slider so I move the slider and look we get the values from 1 to 30 almost there just do this last bit it's not really necessary but I quite like it so I'm going to say self dot label dot um, font size equals and I just made it um, int args one um, multiplied by six you can change the numbers plus ten if we do that put another space in there if we do that and we now run it with the slider and obviously it's getting bigger at the same time as well Okay, I hope you found that helpful and you can use the slide in your own apps, but we'll be using it in our um, next video in the Paint app so that we can have different line thicknesses when we want to draw on the screen. I hope you found the video helpful. Um, do remember to subscribe. I've put a link to the code that I've used in the tutorial in the description below. Stay in infield with Winfield.